Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm Jacob and we are at Planet of the Grapes Wine Shop in London where we are going to serve some red wine. To get started, you will need a wine glass for red wine. You will need a corkscrew and you will also need some red wine. Before you pour your red wine, you want to ensure that it's at the correct temperature. Our 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile can be served at room temperature. But our 2005 Beaujolais from Fleury is best served a bit chilled. This takes some of the harsher edge on it, but more importantly, it will bring out the wine's vibrancy and fruitiness without damaging any of its flavors. It may seem unusual, but don't knock it till you tried it. In order to open your red wine, you will need a corkscrew. In this case, the waiter's friend. Grab your bottle of wine and lift the knife out. This is to cut the foil that's on the top of the bottle. Simply get a tight grip around the lip of the bottle and give it a nice little turn. And just keep turning and turning until the foil comes off cleanly, exposing the cork. Safely put away your blade and open up the corkscrew. Grab your bottle of wine again, firmly grab it by the neck, center the corkscrew and begin to turn it. Applying a little bit of pressure, once you attach it to the side, pull. And then step it up a bit, again applying pressure until the cork comes free. Now before serving your red wine, many people like to let it breathe for an hour or two. They just pop the cork and sort of set it aside for a bit. But as you can see, there's not much oxygen exposure. So if you really want to get the wine aerated and to expose those beautiful red wine flavors, it helps if you use a decanter. Now what this does is when you begin to pour the wine into the decanter, as you can see, it's getting lots of oxygen exposure. I can smell it right away and you get a nice aeration. There are many different types of red wine glasses. Unlike white wine glasses, they tend to be a bit larger. The reason for this is that you have more room to maneuver when you continue to aerate the wine once it enters the glass. So now we're ready to pour our red wine. Now when you pour from the decanter, you want to pour into a glass that's on a flat, even surface. This will keep it stable as you pour the wine in. Just tip a bit in, filling the glass up, turn it. This way you want to leave enough room so you could still give it a swirl. And that is how you serve red wine so it can be enjoyed at its best. You can have it with friends, you can have it with a meal, or you can simply enjoy it by itself.